ever since I was a kid in Brooklyn, I knew that this art form had value, that it was important, that people should recognize it. Young blood's got no sense of history. My name is Alan Kett. You're at the Museum of Graffiti in Wynwood, Miami. This movement that started in New York City, Philadelphia, cities like Los Angeles, has this old rich history that's never been talked about or celebrated. That's the idea behind this museum, to celebrate the men, the women, the kids that made this art form what it is today. have taken it upon ourselves to curate, program, and commission 11 different murals around the neighborhood and around our space. Four of them are on our actual building. It was super important to us to make sure that graffiti had a place in its natural habitat. The wall behind me is done by Abstract, who is a local Miami artist, and he teamed up with Entis from Peru. Our opening inaugural exhibition is called Style Masters, and it's looking at the graffiti art movement from a stylistic point of view. So we're not talking about vandalism necessarily, we're not talking about bombing, we're not talking about gang graffiti or religious graffiti. We're talking about the kids, the boys, the girls, the teenagers that made graffiti a stylistic movement. You walk through and you start to understand, okay, this isn't just vandalism. This is an art form, it's very thought out. It's very stylistic, it's very intentional. It goes from simple signatures with markers to multicolored pieces of art painted on the sides of trains that continue to advance and develop. Graffiti in Miami is this northeast-south connection as a result of Caribbean roots and as a result of family roots. And so early on in the 80s, Airborne came to Miami in 81. C67 from the Bronx was sent to Miami. And that, those were the early protagonists here in Miami. And you see their early work here. We did a lot of work to bring these old treasures, so to speak, to light. And so here you see a little bit of the story of Miami early works. These are selected by our assistant curator, Dash167, who spoke to all the old writers and asked them to pick what were the most important pieces in the 80s. Something that the Museum of Graffiti does, it sings the song of unsung heroes. It really talks about artists who have been marginalized and haven't been shown in massive institutions and, and given the same level of respect that a lot of other artists um, around the world have been given. Why Miami? Because Miami has Wynwood, and Wynwood is a very special place. There's no place quite like Wynwood on the planet. You would think that New York has a place like this, or maybe Paris, or Berlin, or Los Angeles, or Madrid. No, Wynwood is a unique place. It's a very densely packed neighborhood filled with murals and graffiti and art and tradition and history. It's meant so much to me. It's changed my life. It's changed the life of a lot of people. And so for me, I feel like this is a way for me to honor it. I want to honor this movement and honor everybody who came before me. Mm -hmm.